Good afternoon. <laughs> My name is Catlin Powers, and I'm the co-founder of One Earth Designs. When I first came here to St. Andrews, my team was working out of a tiny apartment in China, and we walked half an hour to get to the nearest showers. So we were not quite your traditional clean tech company. But the trustees of St. Andrews believed in us, and because of that, we now have customers in 18 countries around the world. And this month, the Prince of Monaco recognized us for excellence in clean tech commercialization. Our flagship product, SoulSource, harnesses solar energy at 90% efficiency, four times higher than a, your typical solar panel, and uses it to power zero emissions cooking in homes around the world. Now, we started seven years ago, when I was an undergraduate chemistry student, and I decided to take air quality monitors and wear them on my body while I traveled across China from Beijing up into the Himalayas where my research was taking place. I thought that the levels of pollution I was seeing were terrible. And then I arrived in Western China, and this family invited me into their home. And when we measured the air that they were breathing, we found that it was comparable with the air during the London fog of 1952. And that shocked me. So I stepped back and I started researching into this issue. And what I found was that every year, 4.3 million people were dying because of exposure to smoke from their stoves. This is incredible. I, I felt like I wanted to find a way to use my chemistry that I loved to find solutions for this problem. So I stopped everything that I was doing and I started migrating with the nomads. And I can tell you, I made a terrible nomad. <laughs> I could only carry about half as much water as most of the other women could. I could never find the right fuel. I was a terrible horseback rider. But I learned a tremendous amount. And one of the things that I learned was that this problem was much more complex than a pollution problem. It was a fuel problem, and it was a women problem. Deforestation rates in China were so bad that the Chinese government outlawed all use of wood for fuel. But people didn't have any other option. So women continued going to the forest and spending hours every day collecting fuel, oftentimes being beaten and fined as a result. There was only one fuel that was readily available, and that was the sun. In one hour, enough sunlight reaches Earth to power all human activities for an entire year and most of it falls in the regions most in need. Now, it was a villager who suggested that. He had had a solar cooker before, but it weighed 95 kilograms and broke in three months. So he said, we need one that's powerful and portable and durable, so that's exactly what we set out to do. Working with the villagers, we designed and tested 54 different prototypes of solar cookers over six years and made amazing breakthroughs along the way including a new reflector technology that's 20% more efficient than the nearest competitor. Now, at the end of that process, we put out SoulSource. And we were thinking of it like every other prototype we had done over time, except that when we went to get people's feedback on this, they didn't want to give up the product. And all the people in the homes around them wanted one too. So we realized we were gonna need to find a way to manufacture this. And that was a headache. We vetted hundreds of factories looking for ones that met our quality, environmental, and social standards. It was a long process, but finally we developed a responsible supply chain. And because of that, because we thought about sustainability in every aspect of our business, GEARS, the Global Impact Rating System, used by investors to compare the performance of companies, gave us the highest score yet on record. This was a huge accomplishment for our team. And we felt like we're finally ready now to go out there, produce this product, and get it into people's homes. And when we did, we saw something amazing. Men actually started getting interested in cooking. <laughs> <laughs> they were coming home from herding early so that they could stand out next to Soul Source and show it off to their friends. And women were going to collect water and gossiping with each other about the latest recipes that they had learned to cook on Soul Source. And with that amazing customer interaction came good impact. In 2013, people cooked more than 400,000 meals on SoulSource. SoulSource abated 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide, saved 50,000 working days for women, reduced indoor air pollution by 30 to 80%. And for every $1 that customers spent on SoulSource, they saved between 11 and $26. Now the problem we faced was that many people had trouble affording the technology. So we decided to try something a bit unusual. We'd been getting interest from people all around the world, 
And so we started offering SoulSource to customers in developed nations and giving them the opportunity to offset the costs for families in Asia and Africa. The campaign was hugely successful and we ended up with customers in 18 different countries around the world just in the course of one year, that expansion. Now, when we started delivering into developed nations, people called us up and said, I just spent 15,000 pounds to put solar photovoltaics on my roof and nobody can see them. <laughs> so I love that I can put SolarSource in my backyard and share solar with my friends through this fun activity. And I don't know if you guys know, but just in one day, on the 4th of July in the United States, American grills produce more carbon dioxide than many African nations produce in an entire year. So <laughs> when grillers got a hold of this technology and they saw that if we could a six inch steak in five minutes, they went wild over it. Later this, or earlier this month, we put SolSource up on Amazon. It already has nine reviews, all five stars. People have been cooking vegetables and steaks and sausages and s'mores and bread on it. There's been this great response. But we have another challenge. And that's that very few people know about us yet. So that's what I'd like to help your, ask your help with today. Uh, if you guys all go home and you post up on Twitter and Facebook about SolSource, linking to our website, oneearthdesigns.com, that'll be a huge step towards grilling green right here in the UK or the United States or wherever you're from and helping people in Asia and Africa gain access to clean energy along the way. So I hope for your help with that and I want to conclude with a quote from one of my favorite people, Aristotle. He said, where the needs of the world and your gifts cross lies your calling. So I want to encourage all of you to go out there into the world, find where that intersection is, and let's start making the changes that we need to see. Yeah, thank you.